Hello and welcome. This is Angie with CountrySheetCottage.net and I'm here with a video today sponsored by Testers. So Testers makes craft paint. We're going to use a couple different colors today, both white and pink, as well as some pink glitter burst. So we're going to use these three colors and we are going to use some scrap 2 by 4s You might have some of those laying around. We're going to create an adorable little Easter craft. So a little Easter bunny with a cute little tail. So, are you ready to get started? Start by gathering your supplies. You'll need your scrap 2x4s, your testers paint, some buttons in white and black, some white and pink felt, the stiff felt works best, some pink pom-poms, and some pink large pipe cleaners. So you'll want to start by painting your 2x4 scraps white with the testers craft paint. These may need a couple of coats, so paint on one good solid coat on all sides allow it to dry completely, and then put on a second coat. You can add a third coat if necessary. I didn't find that was needed on mine. So I like to protect my work area, so be sure to do that as well. So any paint that drips off, you can catch that with like a paper plate in this case. So I'm doing three bunnies in my case, but you can make as many or as few of these as you would like. Once your two by fours are painted with the two coats and dry, you can add the pink cheeks. So I use the eyes, button eyes, as well as the pom-pom nose to determine the placement for my pink cheeks. And I started with the pink testers craft paint and added two circles with a pouncer brush, which is basically a round sponge brush that allows you to get those round circles. Then I used a regular brush to add the glitter burst paint into those circles. So I just wanted a touch of glitter I did this while the paint was still wet and added, and you can add as much or as little of this as you would like. I just wanted that little touch of glitter to add a little something to my bunnies. So I went back with the pouncer brush again while the paint was still wet and just touched it to the wet paint to blend the glitter burst with the pink paint. And then I set these aside and allowed them to dry completely. While they're drying, you can work on your bunny ears. Cut bunny ear shapes from white felt first. Now, it is easiest to use stiff felt for this project. And then you'll want to cut two bunny ears for every one 2x4 bunny. You want to cut the pink felt into a little bit of a smaller bunny shape, and that is for the center of your bunny ear. Again, you want to cut two for every bunny that you're going to make. Now it's time to break out the hot glue gun. Just use hot glue to adhere the pink felt to the white felt for all of your bunny ears. Then you can set those aside and get started on some of the other projects to make these scrap wood bunnies. Next, we're gonna work on the whiskers. So the whiskers are made with wire. You can use any kind of craft wire. Cut it into, say, about three and a half to four inch pieces, just with scissors. And then you want to create a curl on them. So I used here a wood dowel and just curled the piece of wire around just to create a fun little curl for my whiskers. A pencil would even work in this case. So just wrap it around and keep going until all of the whiskers for your bunnies are complete. Now we'll need to add the ears to the top of our 2x4 pieces. You cut the ends at an angle whatever angle you would like, just to make them sit at an angle on top of the bunny. Just give them a try on the top until you get the look you would like. Now we're going to make a bow for the top. Just tie a piece of ribbon into a bow and cut off any excess. The bow can be as large or as small as you would like it to be. Again, try it on the top to make sure that it fits. Now we're going to break out the hot glue gun again. We're going to add some hot glue to the bottom of those ears and glue them to the top of the wood piece. Again, we want these at an angle, which is the reason we cut them off at an angle. You can definitely cut them some as many, as much or as little as you would like, and cut them some more if you don't like the look as you're adding them to the top. Then we're going to add our bow again with just a little bit of hot glue. Again, you want to cut off any excess from the bow, kind of cut the ends at an angle. 
and then just add it to the top with a drop of hot glue. Now you want to do all this after your bunnies have completely dry and that includes the little pink cheeks. You want to make sure those are completely dry before you start adding your elements to the top and the front. Next we're going to add on our bunny face. So start with a little glue in between those cheeks and add on four whiskers per bunny. So these are the wire pieces that we curled by wrapping around a dowel or a pencil. And then to, while that glue is still hot, I'm going to add on a pink pom-pom for the nose. And just press well to make sure everything stays into place. And now we want to add some eyes. Here I'm using buttons for eyes, two white but buttons and two black buttons. So add the white buttons in place first with just a little bit of hot glue. Then add the black buttons on top of the white buttons to complete the eyes and complete the front of the bunny face. However, this bunny is not complete. We're going to add a little something special to the back of the bunny to make this craft even cuter. So grab your extra large pink pipe cleaner and start rolling it around. So you're just going to basically roll it into a circle. What we're doing is rolling this into a bunny tail because we want the back to be just as cute as the front. So roll it around until it forms a tail. These have a wire inside them so they hold their shape well. Then just add a bunch of hot glue to the back where the tail would go. Press on the pipe cleaner and the back of your bunny is complete as well as the front of the bunny. Just repeat all of these steps for as many bunnies as you would like for your home. Y'all enjoy and make some wood bunnies for your house. I hope you enjoyed making these cute little bunnies and you'll make some for yourself. Go outside, dig up some scrap 2x4s, grab some testers paint in a few different colors, and get started making your own today.